herpes might not have any symptoms. You or your partner may not have any herpes symptoms that you can see or feel, or the signs of herpes may be so mild you don't even notice them. Sometimes people confuse herpes symptoms with other things, like pimples, ingrown hairs, and the flu. Herpes symptoms come and go, but that doesn't mean the infection goes away or that you can't spread it to other people. Once you have herpes, it stays in your body for life. Genital herpes symptoms The most common symptoms of genital herpes is a group of itchy or painful blisters on your vagina, vulva, cervix, penis, butt, anus, or the inside of your thighs. The blisters break and turn into sores. You might have these other symptoms too, burning when you pee if your urine touches the herpes sores having trouble peeing because the sores and swelling are blocking your urethra itching pain around your genitals if your genital herpes is caused by HSV2. You might also have flu-like symptoms, such as, swollen glands in your pelvic area, throat, and under your arms fever, chills, headache, feeling icky and tired. When blisters and other genital herpes symptoms show up, it's called an outbreak. The first outbreak, also called the first episode or initial herpes, usually starts about 2 to 20 days after you get infected with herpes. But sometimes it takes years for the first outbreak to happen. The first herpes outbreak lasts about 2 to 4 weeks. Even though the blisters go away, the virus stays in your body and can cause sores again, it's really common to get repeat outbreaks, especially during the first year you have herpes. You might notice some warning signs a few hours or days before outbreaks flare up, like itching, burning, or a tingly feeling on your genitals. Herpes outbreaks are no fun, but the first one is the worst. Repeat outbreaks are usually shorter and less painful. Most people with herpes get fewer outbreaks as time goes on, and some stop having them all together. Herpes symptoms may be more painful and last longer in people with illnesses that damage your immune system, like leukemia and HIV. Oral herpes symptoms Usually, oral herpes is less painful than genital herpes and doesn't make you feel as sick. Oral herpes causes sores on your lips or around your mouth called cold sores or fever blisters. You can also get sores inside your mouth, but that usually only happens the first few times you have symptoms. Cold sores last a few weeks and then go away on their own. They can pop up again in weeks, months, or years. Cold sores are annoying, but usually harmless in kids and adults. They can be really dangerous to newborn babies, though genital herpes these sores tend to develop on the penis, around or inside the vagina, on the buttocks, or on the anus, though they can form on other areas of skin. Herpes can also cause pain when urinating and changes in vaginal discharge. The first time a person develops the sores, they may last two to six weeks. Soon after this initial outbreak, symptoms may recur frequently, over time, outbreaks may occur less often and the symptoms tend to become less severe. Primary symptoms, these occur when a person first develops the infection. Alongside sores or blisters, herpes may cause pain and itching swollen lymph nodes a fever fatigue and a general feeling of being unwell in most cases, the lesions heal without long-term scarring. Recurring symptoms Symptoms that reappear are similar to the initial symptoms, though they tend to be less severe and last for shorter periods. Research suggests that around 33% of people with oral herpes and 50% of those with genital herpes experience recurring symptoms. During each recurrence, symptoms of oral herpes tend to last 8 to 10 days, according to the American Sexual Health Association. Symptoms of a genital herpes recurrence also last 8 to 10 days, and there will be fewer sores than in the initial phase. During a recurrence, a person can pass on genital herpes for 2 to 5 days. Thank you.